of kings. Let one of your knights try to land a blow against me. I think the Green Knight represents, um, it could be a figment of this man's imagination. It could be kind of your own ego. It is what I think he represents in a way too, you know? There's a moment in the film where it's time to meet your maker is what I felt like, you know? He's meeting his maker in a way, the Green Knight. It's it's destiny kind of personified. Yeah, that, that encapsulates everything and nothing maybe, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, the pit, to me, it's sort of the pitfalls of aspiration, you know, the dangers of ambition, you know, be careful what you wish for is, is to me what that is, is about. It's like topple the giant, not knowing or thinking ahead that the giant may then be able to take a whack at your own neck is, says a lot to me about, about the aspirations of success in many ways. We all fear, but fear can be a gift. You can, you can, you can take it uh, in a way that, you know, this man's on this very psychological journey. He's going through the wilderness and it's incredibly taxing. Maybe, you know, he has no one to talk to and that isolation leads to him manifesting these kind of, these scene partners in a way, you know, these kind of friends along the way. But also it can be their warning signs, you know, if, if, if we're touching on the mythical element of it all, you know, are they manifestations of this destiny at the end that awaits him, you know, and are they warning signs, you know? It, uh, warning signs that he chooses to ignore, his own ego won't allow him to accept. Uh, the fox so delivers warnings along the way, so does the Lord and the Lady. Uh, you know, it's balancing these questions of chivalric code and, and, and it's, it's also, um, you know, just to speak to the earlier question, that, you know, the Green Knight represents nature, it is a trial by nature, you're so right, you know. That was a lot of makeup, poor fella. I mean, we would see him on set poke a hole in his like prosthetics and like you just see all the sweat dripping out. He was a real sport, never, never heard him moan once and it was intense, you know, under all that armor, I was struggling. So to have an inch of your skin exposed is really tough, but he's got this magnificent booming voice that just commands the entire room. So he acted his way right through that, he's, he's amazing.